welcome back to my channel as you can tell today we are doing a different style of video it's my first time doing a voice recording today i am sharing with you my everything shower routine by the way you guys can purchase any of the products used in this video in my amazon storefront which is linked in the description below i usually like to start off with hair oiling i like to start off with some castor oil on the roots of my hair and so i massage it in thoroughly just to help with the blood flow and this has truly helped a lot with hair growth and then I go in with some coconut oil this one is from OGX I really like this one I mainly focus the coconut oil on the mid to the ends of my hair I usually like to let this sit in my hair for a couple hours before showering so today I decided to do a little slick back hair style since I was just gonna be in this for a couple of hours before showering and then I like to use my bamboo brush I literally purchased this from the dollar store I believe you can also find it on Amazon as well I like to go in with my bamboo brush to just massage my scalp and lather in the hair oil that was in my hair for those few hours make sure to take out any tangles as well now right before hopping into the shower I like to do some dry brushing I don't do this very often this is usually only for my everything shower type of days basically I like to go in the direction towards my heart because it just helps any blood flow and circulation and I really like this it also serves as like a way to exfoliate your skin as well And while we're in the shower, I like to start off with shampoo. So this is the first step. The shampoo that I'm currently using is the Not Your Mother's Long and Strong Shampoo Way to Grow. So yeah, I usually lather that in and I like to do a double shampoo. First time, it's kind of just to get the oil out of my hair, but then the second wash is more to deeply clean the scalp. Then we are going in with a hair mask. So this one one that I'm using today is the Redken Extreme and I basically kind of marinate in it so I put a claw clip and then I like to go in with this antibacterial soap from Dove again even with my body I like to do a double cleanse sometimes I like to use this in intimate areas as well the one I have is for sensitive skin in particular so there's no scent to it there's no fragrance it's just a plain bar of soap and then I go in to exfoliate my skin I like to use the Dove body scrub guys I think this is the best body scrub I've ever used I've tried other ones from like other brands as well i don't know why something about the dove body scrubs they just lather so well on your skin it really gives my skin the best like exfoliation and i make sure to also use this on my underarms even on my everyday shower because it also helps to remove any residue from like deodorants and then i like to go in with the eos shaving cream and i usually go for men's shaving cream because i feel like it's just it just works better but the eos ones are so nice it's like the, just the shave cream that every girl needs and it also smells really good and i like to use my regular razor is from venus i believe so i'm here just shaving my underarms and doing the same thing for my legs as well i also make sure to clean my feet very well as well like in between my toes with the body scrub just to really make sure like it's squeaky clean
after shaving and washing my body the first time, I then rinse my hair mask. I like to then go in with the conditioner and I like to match my conditioners with my shampoos. I don't know why, it's just a thing. I feel like if they don't match, it's, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> I have a little bit of OCD. I mainly focus the conditioner on my ends as well. And then we go in with the second body wash. Um, after you rinse your conditioner and your hair mask off, all that conditioner is on your back. And so obviously we don't want to have back knee. So I do a second wash. And this time I go in with like a scented body wash. And I really like the Bath and Body Works body washes because they just smell amazing. I feel like, I don't know, ever since I was little, I've always used Bath and Body Works body wash. The one I have is the Water Lily Springs. <laughs> Then, if I'm not using the Dove antibacterial soap, I like to use this feminine wash from Vagisil. Now, hopping out of the shower, I make sure to all areas of my skin are dry. My feet, intimate areas, under my arms, because I feel like, especially in like your underarms or like in intimate areas, if you don't dry it correctly, I feel like it can produce like a bad odor. I like to put on my cute little pink bathrobe. It's so comfy. And then, then of course, for the sake of my hair health, I, I've been loving using my microfiber towel. This one I think is a little too small for me because my hair is just getting really long and it's kind of hard to get all my hair in it, but I really like using microfiber towels. And now we are moving on to the after shower skincare routine. I've been loving Cetaphil products. So I like to go in with the Cetaphil hydrating cream to foam cleanser. Then I like to go in with the ordinary hyaluronic acid with vitamin B5. I really like this as well. It helps to bring back the moisture to the skin and it makes your skin look so plumpy and youthful. Then I like to use the ordinary soothing and barrier support serum. I don't use this every single day because I notice that if I use it every single day, I will have like a little bit of irritation on my skin just because my skin is very, very sensitive. So I usually like to do this like either on my everyday shower days or just like about maybe two to three times a week max. And then I like to use the matching Cetaphil hydrating lotion moisturizer for my skin as well. I really, really like this moisturizer, but truly I feel like this is the best moisturizer I've ever tried. And then of course, since we're taking this at night, I like to go in with my eye cream. So this one is Ole Henriksen banana bright plus eye cream i also noticed that my con concealer doesn't crease when i do use eye cream so it does help for like before makeup now moving on to body care after shaving and exfoliating i only use body oil specifically baby oil your skin tends to get very dry after shaving just to lock in all that moisture and i like to use baby oil all over my skin even on my underarms um, after shaving them as well and on my arms in general, it just makes the biggest difference. And then I like to go in with moisturizer. I like to use the Bath and Body Works moisturizers as well. But in today's video, I decided to use this Brazilian body butter. And then I'm going in with my deodorant. So lately I've been loving secret deodorants. Moving on to hair care. So I like to just make sure my hair is pretty dry. So I go in with the microfiber towel and I like to use a wide tooth comb. Again, this is very, very gentle for your hair. My hair care routine has literally changed the game for me. I no longer struggle with breakage, damage, split ends, not nearly as much as I used to. And I swear it's because of this. So let me put you on. I go in with leave-in conditioner. So this one is the It's a 10 Leave-In Miracle Plus Keratin. My hair has never been healthier and I swear it's because of this. As you can see, I was struggling to get some product out. So I had to open it up. And you guys know I love my Redken hair products. Then I go in with this Redken Extreme Length Leave-In as well. This is another leave-in treatment. It has biotin as well. It made my hair grow so fast. Anyway, that's what we're using. And 
and then I like to only use this Chi Keratin Silk Infusion only on my blowout days. So today we are I'm going to be taking you step by step how I do my blowouts as well. This just leaves your hair super silky and shiny and glossy. I go in with some heat protector. The one I've been recently using is the Redken Quick Blowout. I really like this, but if you guys are looking for a more affordable alternative, I really, really like the Tresemme heat protectors. I feel like I always find myself going back to that one. And now we are getting ready for the night. This is the outfit. I decided to go for comfy light blue shorts and just a baggy t-shirt. I love sleeping in just baggy clothes. Cannot forget about our body mist. I'm using the Brazilian Crush 62 from, from Sol de Janeiro. Now for hair styling. This is my routine on how I get the perfect blowout. Okay, so we start off with blow dry drying our hair like 70% dry I would say because after that we are gonna go in with the Revlon brush you can also do a blowout with just your hair dryer and like a round brush but something about the Revlon brush makes the biggest difference for me it's so much easier to use it just works for my hair I get a lot of questions about how I style it and as you guys know my hair is very curly it might not look exactly like my hair hair basically my hair is not pinned straight and I noticed that a lot of people would kind of use the Revlon brush to just dry their hair straight I've never been blessed with straight hair and so instead I opted out for this method I can use the Revlon brush in a way that can actually give me more of a blowout look rather than a straight hair look. If you have straight hair, it might not give you the same effect because you, your hair might struggle to hold that curl, if that makes sense. But this is just what I do. So basically I go in straight at first and kind of just like rounding it down. And then I like to do this twisty motion. And I just do this with like every single section. And I like to go in sections. It's just easier to style it. That way so that's pretty much what I do with my hair comes to the front pieces of my hair I kind of twist it into the hair I like to grab it from the top and kind of roll it upwards because it just leaves you with the most beautiful blowout look from the front it's just it's so pretty to finish off I wait a little bit for my hair to cool and then I with my hand in the shape of like a claw I like to separate my hair then I go in with some argan oil so I always just like to finish off with some oil on the ends of my hair especially after putting all that heat and reduce damage so that's pretty much what I like to do Also, don't forget about lip care. I forgot to show this part in my skincare routine. Today, I decided to use the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This one's like a small sample that I got. If you have made it this far into the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below the, the bathtub emoji. I hope you guys enjoyed the style of video. I really wanted it to be a little bit different than what I normally do. So this is my first time actually doing a voiceover and filming this was actually a lot more difficult than 
expected but i just wanted to come on here and say thank you so much for all your love and support and i will see you guys very soon with a new video so make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and i will see you guys very soon with a new video bye